Never forget All right. that. Third question. Uh, oh, this is you. You're up, Bob. All right, come on. Stretch. Don't forget the importance of stretching. Stretch it out. All right. What is your worst habit? Jesus, dude, man, come on, man, what is this? We doing a SWAT analysis tonight? Can we boycott the question? What is my what? You can boycott it. Yeah, we. What is my what? Your, what is my worst habit? Your worst habit. Dancing. Dude, I mean you're a good dancer though. But it's my worst habit because I dance all the time, anytime, don't matter. If it's something supposed to be serious, I just start dancing, man. Like, it can be something serious and I'm just dancing. That's bad. Like, because sometimes people are serious. And it would serious. be bad if you were no good yeah. at it, like you do the Carlton. But you're dancing. actually good at it. And I'm dancing. And this is my habit. I'm going to take the rest of my time to dance. I'm going to dance and I'm going to swing without any music. It is a bad habit. It is a bad habit. This is going to be the longest. Well, day. sometimes, no, for real, sometimes somebody can be like serious, you know, or like a conversation is kind of going too serious. Well, I will just start dancing. Like if I'm tuning out, if I'm tuning out, I will just start dancing. I'll go, I'll go to dancing like, you're not listening to me. What was I doing? You dancing, you know, I can tell, you know, I get, it's just dancing. That's dancing. my worst, worst yeah. habit. Dancing, worst habit, yeah. You know? All right. Dancing, that's, that's that's disgusting. Think about Actually, it. Think about it. If you great took, if you Michael. took a party, if you took if you took somebody with you that danced all the time, and just dancing wasn't your thing, dude, you'd be like, dude, sit down, man. Like, hey. <laughs> the only thing I could picture ever since the moment you said that was happy feet. <laughs> Damn, Damn son, why are you moving? I don't know, Dad. I don't know. I just, <laughs> Dancing. Oh my god. Dude, it's dancing, man. I love to dance. I just do it too, way like too that, much. Like that kid in, uh, what's that movie? Happy Feet. Come on, let me see. He just oh, said it. Ball no, boy. no, 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 that's going too. <laughs> Oh, what's that? Oh, Napoleon Dynamite. No, I'll forget. I'll, 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 think, I'll think of it and I'll bring it back hey. up. Because there's like this kid in the movie. He's like, <laughs> karate kid. No, he's on the ADD though. He's got, you know, he's got a little one. Like, um, then the guy's in the bathtub. He's yeah, like, yeah. Oh. Ben, Ben, Ben Affleck died. The yeah, guy yeah, yeah, yeah. assassin movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh I can't God. remember the name of the movie, but you're that kid. The kid is Kung Fu Hustle. No, it's not a karate movie. He's all bleeding in the bathtub. Yeah, he's getting he's in a, he's it's like Tabo when he was all froze and his fingers are gone. It's like, oh man, it's got, oh, man, it's got Jeremy Piven in it. He, aces, stroking aces, smoking aces, aces. smoking aces, Twilight. smoking aces. You're that kid. Great, Great movie, movie by, by the way. In the bathtub. Not in the bathtub, but outside of what? You got oh people. God! And the gay women. She had that big fifty cal, and and her gay that lover was... runs off with the dude. I haven't seen this movie. Oh, yeah. It's horrible. Oh, you need to see Smoking Aces. Don't watch Smoking uh, Aces 2, though. You're up. <laughs> that was horrible. Unbelievable. This is up when you get three dudes together with ADD. I don't even remember the question. Memory. Fucking memory Wait. loss. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's Worst me. habit? Oh. Is that what it is? Yeah. All right. Um, so, oh, I got I mean, my, my habits are pretty simple. I mean... Therapy. Can we let Ann answer this? <laughs> What's, yeah. right, What's my worst habit? Snoring while farting. Oh, oh yeah, snoring. snoring. I'm a bad snorer. Snor I oh, do have are a video you? on that. Oh, no. no. Yeah, I'm a, apparently I'm a horrible snorer, but I don't hear it, so I'm good. Um, yeah, that, probably tobacco. I'm still, you know, I don't know. Oh, chew? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when I was in the, when I was in the service, it was bad. You know, when I was in the army, it was, went from cigarettes to tobacco, cigarettes to tobacco. It was just, you know, whatever, whatever you could get your hands on. It was tough to get back then. You know, nowadays they they issue it to the kids in basic training because they're soft. Well, I guess they can't be away from their blankets and stuff. But that's a different time. That's an old army. That's it. Snoring and tobacco. Don't do drugs. Okay? Like, it just came to me after I was going to rudely interrupt Chris. <laughs> so, but rudely interrupting people's not a bad <laughs> habit. No. 
Oh, so so bad habit is um, actually it is that. So if I'm having a conversation with somebody, and it spikes a joke or a pun or something in my brain. I can no longer concentrate to <laughs> anything else in life until I get that pun or joke out of my system. And 20% of the time, it's successful. The joke, 100% of the time, is successful. But usually, I'm like, happy feet. And I don't listen to anything else in the conversation. And then when it's all done, I throw out my joke or pun. And it is horrible timing. <laughs> it's already past the brain spike that I had when I made it. And I think it's hilarious. And I sit there and I just think, ah, people just don't get me. <laughs> so that's probably my worst habit. Inconceivable. <laughs> oh. So so that's that's probably my worst habit. But but that's something I can't like chewing sunflower seeds, like you can get away from it, but that's something I can't, like if we have a conversation and a joke comes to mind, I, you know who I'm worse with this with? Is people that I really get, when I get excited. If oh, I'm excited, yeah. Yeah. like Jeremy Purick, I feel so bad for that guy. He opens <laughs> his mouth and I instantly interrupt him. <laughs> it is so bad. He's like my coach, my mentor, everything and yeah so that's that's my worst habit is that what it is habit forming things i have nothing good next question please so we have a question from the audience what <laughs> that's oh, shit. Cool. Yeah. we have an audience what <laughs> i hope so with all these fancy cameras and stuff we what is your bucket list adventure oh that's good. Like the, the number one? He's up first, right? Like the number yeah. one or just yeah. like the number one extreme, this yeah. is the top biggest notch, extreme. Top notch. You top have the, no spending limit. All right. So if I had no spending limit, there's this thing that obviously the world being closed down. is. So you can bring 50 friends, 50 of your closest friends, family, or whatever. to a runway in China. It's the only place that this is oh, really legal. And what happens is they have a biplane, like a stunt plane, and they have a fixture and they strap you to it and they do a, a, a acrobatic flying show with you strapped standing straight up on top of this old-fashioned biplane and they come by you the people that you invite on the runway they come by you upside down with your head like feet from the ground wow. and it's like they took it off so many people's heads it's like <laughs> illegal everywhere except <laughs> China that if I had unlimited amount of money, I would do that within six months. That's definitely one thing that I, I think I would definitely feel alive at that point in time. Going, and then going up and they kill the engine and then you fall down and you're strapped to the top. Would that be amazing? Yeah. That'd be crazy. Cool. So of all the bucket list like things, that. that is probably the ultimate one that I don't think I'll ever be able to accomplish. Oh, you can do anything. All right, that's it. World peace. <laughs> uh, from this America or what? <laughs> I was thinking the same exact thing. Oh, boy, I don't really. Uh... Hmm. I don't know. I go back in time. I mean, it's not really a bucket list, though, because it's not real, right? You can't do that. We can't just go back in time. And I guess I, I would go to Elon Musk's house and say, dude, make a time machine and let's go back in time. That's the way to think of it. That's good. Idea. I don't know. Or I just want to blow something up in a good way, not in an evil way. Like, no, when I say I want to go back in time, right? 
I actually, look, hold on, Dolph, hear me what, out. What the shit is going on? <laughs> what the shit? Hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Jesus listen, you're not, listen, you're taking up my time. You, know, you listen. I really enjoyed being in the Army. And if I go back in time, that's something I'd like to do. I would have liked to done. You know, and finished a, my career. But I would have tweaked some things. I really, really, I really, it was, I really enjoyed it. Like, it was really something I really love to do. So, I'd go back in time. And hey, can you read the question to him again? I don't think a, he understands. Going back in time, question. I said it. I literally said it. I read the question. Again. What is your bucket list adventure? I want to go off-road on the moon. <laughs> Dude, you could do that. That's actually a tangible thing. Well, it's no more tangible than going back in time. You're right. You're right, Chris. I'm not. Can I rebuttal on that shit? You yes, can. Yes, you can. Wait, wait. Let me get my two minutes, please. Two minutes. Two minutes, please. Gotta get my two minutes. Two minutes. I'm back. Two minutes is going. Um, where's the Stop Mine is simple. Um. I'm going to be able to get in car, bucket list, and four ounce pours, east the west, breweries. Wow. Travel all the way through, just four ounce pours, take a day. I want to go to every state, every, you know, every brewery that they really got that's worth something. And... Do it. Now, I don't know how my kidneys would do. It'd be a whole lot of drinking beer and water. But oh, you got a great wife. Your kids would do it fine. They'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That's it. You got a minute. <laughs> you gonna go in your dance? I mean, you don't know what All right, Chris, you have one minute. Thing. You have to come up with something. You, I, I'm sorry, I understand that you want to go back right, in the time right, right, right. and spend right, a right, lot right, of time with right, a lot of fine. men polishing your boots. I understand that. No, that's, but, not, that's not what I said. But okay, I, I, I see how you're going to knock Nobody me knows down. what you said. It was really crazy. No, I'm not knocking you down. It's just sad. You made me sad. It's not sad. I so really sad. enjoyed it. Anyway. Super sad, but Fine. Uh, I really liked going fast. So I guess I don't have a. I just don't have. King of the Hammers. A, yeah, that's, I, a, that's on my bucket list. Yes, it's a it's a bucket list, but it's, it's going to happen. So it's not really. A, it's not like a. All right. Yeah, I, that'd be cool to race the forty four hundred class. You know, have like a fully built Miller Motorsports car that we could rip, or you know, for fly off road <laughs> or stack off road. Hey, let me ask you no, a question. I like to go fast. I would love to get back on a crotch rocket and just drag race. That would be cool. That would be cool. Uh, I'm, time's up. No, I just got a question. You have a great, you have an unbelievable memory. Like, you remember shit that's uh, so crazy. I you really stupid do. stupid stuff. Yeah, which is, to me, up yeah, there. All right. Have you ever been known to have like the crazy stuff like the imagination because to have to like to have that bucket list of like that thing is imagination yeah so like and you like come with all kinds of crazy shit but do you have an explore, uh, exp, uh, exploring imagination? No. Mm -hmm. I love this. I don't. I, 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 I'm being I, serious. No, I, I would, yeah, I get it. I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I mean, obviously, for, for me, every day is a bucket mm -hmm. list. Yeah, it's like, just like, I don't know, I don't, I, you know. I love that. I just, life is life, and I'm just living it. Because I think, like, like um, the, the, Buckle lift mm -hmm. list to me is like the gnarliest imagination that you can oh, ever. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, but I, I just, I guess I have an imagination, but I just, I guess, I guess I'm too literal, right? Because yeah. like I'm like uh, I can't never happen. Maybe like I like literally I was like I buy a Powerball to ask, tell you like, I'll buy a Powerball ticket so we can, you know, yeah we're gonna win. 
Oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to make up a joke? Oh, my God. Oh, like make one up or just tell my favorite joke? This is horrible. All right. So, these nuns are riding a bicycle. And they are... Okay, these nuns are riding a bicycle. And um, they went down a road um, that they didn't go down before. And the nun says, um, I, I've never came this way before. The other nun said, oh, yeah, it's a lot bumpier. <laughs> <laughs> Is that horrible? That's horrible. I used to know a joke. I know zero jokes. Uh, there's jokes back in the day about cheese. And there's three kids. And uh, they asked the one kid, what kind of cheese you got? And he's like, you know, I got, you know, cheddar cheese. And they asked the other kid, what kind of cheese you got? He said, I got government cheese. And then the little Spanish kid's running away. And they said, what kind of cheese you got? He says, nacho cheese. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what's the... <laughs> you got it. There's one little for you. Um... What do you call? <laughs> what do you so call? A, uh, what do you call? What generation? An you alligator who wears a vest. Alligator wears a vest. An investigator. An investigator. Is it really? Oh <laughs> my God! That's so funny. All my life, I've been hey, trying to the, get those right. Karis, uh, Karis, my, do my daughter told me that joke. That's the only thing that's going through that's my a mind. Great joke. I didn't laugh. Yeah, well, no, but it'd be like Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg doing dad jokes, like trying to make each other laugh. <laughs> hey, how can you tell it's a dad joke? Oh, it's apparent. <laughs> what generation was Forrest Gump? Gen A. <laughs> <laughs> he says I, have, so I have nothing on, I have nothing on these guys. I'm a horrible at jokes. Whiskey break! Uh, How did your first sexual encounter no. go? Wow! Oh, oh, this is a horrible story! Wow! This takes me back to high school! Wow! I'm in high school and I'm on the bus! I'm going home with the bus and there's this beautiful <laughs> upperclassman. I had to be, I had to be a freshman. I had to be a freshman. This is such a horrible story. All right, I gotta talk back. I'm in a bus. Well, you she's like hitting on me. She's yeah, hitting on me. She's an upperclassman. Um, she was a foreign, foreign girl. Um, Take a very, time. very beautiful girl. So <laughs> we go and um, I'm getting off of my buddy Todd's house, Todd Starks. And she's all, uh, I'm just going to get off the bus with you guys and hang out. I'm like, all right. So we get off and uh, we're like fooling around. And I don't know what the hell's going on. And it was like the first time I've done anything with a girl, like um, touched her in anywhere. So it was super weird, super crazy. So, so we're fooling around and everything. And, you know, I don't know what's going on. It's, it's that time. So we're in the bathroom. And um, so I'm. She's on the bathroom floor, and I put a, a condom. I put a condom on. First time I ever did that. You know what's going on? And I'm, I'm getting ready to do it. I'm getting ready to do it. Well, I got so excited. <laughs> and she's this laying there. She looked beautiful. I fucking peed. We're gonna do I it. peed. I peed the condom off. I peed, and I just peed all over. And I didn't know if that was what you were supposed to do. So I thought I was having a deal. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm peeing. I peed it right off, peeing all over her. And man, she got up. I think oh my god. Pissed. It was worse. I just peed all over. Her. <laughs> so wait, take. I want you to take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Oh no! I peed. Oh. That was the worst. I peed all Ooh. over. I was like, oh I had to be 14 up. years old. Give him yours. Yeah, you can have my two minutes. <laughs> Keep going. No. Keep going. Tell oh, us more. No, that's it. Like anything else, it, 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 it was like it was. I just peed all oh, over. I just man. peed all over. I didn't know what I was doing. I had oh, no idea. God. And I thought that was what it. I thought. Oh man. I thought to have sex, you put on a condom and you pee it off. <laughs> Try it. It felt really good. <laughs> Felt really good to me. I said, I'm, let's do that again. She goes, I'm out of here. <laughs> you just peed on her. You pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> that was way, that was the best joke yet.
But I'm not joking. It was Dude, really I, crazy. And like, uh, yeah. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was I, I peed, like, it, I peed off. Like, I remember walking down, and I seen the cone swelling. I'm like, oh, shit, man, it's just going to blow. And... <laughs> <laughs> but you guys got to understand, I was a young kid. I didn't know. Like, I thought that's what was supposed to happen. Makes sense. Natural. Yeah. And that condom didn't work. Like, damn, I need a magnet. <laughs> I need a magnet. <laughs> you need a belt. Some Velcro. Uh, uh, come on, I told that embarrassing story. You can have something without disrespecting you or your wife or your dad or your family. Welcome to another episode of our podcast. Our podcast. We had crazy questions. First one was about a celebrity crush. We nailed the man, but the women were a little fuzzy. Fuzzy. But that was back in the day. <laughs> but we named some good girls and we named some good guys. And the next question made me cry. Cries. Because it was about our weaknesses. Chris said he had no weaknesses. He is strong. Super strong, like Iron. No, no, Captain America. Captain America. (laughs) And Carl does the dance. That was on my worst habit. Oh, shit. My weakness was I'm selfish. Selfish. Oh, mine was memory. No (laughs) one screwed that up. Weaknesses. Or right here in front of you. I hope you can deal with yours. <laughs> Diesel gave us his sexual encounter. He peed on someone. I didn't Stim- pee on her. Was- I thought I was having an orgasm, was but I peed that condom. Went flying through the air. It was a fluid situation. <laughs> it was fluid. And our friends have made a bucket list trip together to Canada. It's rad. Rad racing. Once they get permission from me, of course. <laughs> She's going. She's going with the plus one. The only one. What was Chris's worst bad habit, I must ask? What was it? Oh! Oh! Snoring! He trusts too many people. When it's raining, he's snoring. <laughs> then we got a bucket list. We got a crazy airplane story and a beer drinking fool and a. I want to go back into time and relive my life. <laughs> Just a piece of it. Just my little slice of heaven. The rest of it was perfect. But it's our podcast. Yes, it's our Our podcast. It's our podcast. Our podcast. It's obnoxious. Uncut. It is definitely raw. <laughs> hey, thank you guys for tuning in to our podcast. Make sure you like and subscribe. And tell us your bucket list. Yeah. Like, we want to enhance our bucket list. We enhance your bucket list. I think bucket lists are all. We should have a community. Forum about that bucket lists. Do not, not tell us your first sexual. That's not sanitary. I, I want to hear it. That's not sanitary. Did, is peeing off the condom a common thing? I think it might be. A community bucket list is not sanitary though. You shouldn't share. You're talking about sanitary <laughs> when I peed off a condom? Don't forget to follow. It looked like a it. firework. It looked like a firework. Checked out. Stepped out for a reason.